We have a 2011 Buick Verano that appears to be having some AC issues. They just dropped the car off. And let's see what we got going on here. Just I need to be running. Okay, they said that the way they didn't explain it real good, but something about sometimes it would blow, sometimes it wouldn't. They wasn't sure if it was getting cold all the time. So the blower motor, that's high speed right there. I feel a little bit of air coming out. I can hear the blower motor trying to run. There it goes. But even that does not... Okay. Now that does. It sounds like the bearing on the blower motor is starting to go bad too, so more than likely this is just a blower motor, but we got to, I want to make sure that the blower, I believe this car is probably going to have a uh, blower motor controller, not just a blower motor resistor. This has got all auto uh, climate control. So let's see what it's going to take to access this blower motor. Let me, uh, let me kill the car. I'm going to get to the blower motor connector. Okay, hold on, let me get some stuff to throw down here. Okay, so got me a nice kneeling pad to kneel on and threw a towel in the floorboard. Let's see what we got. This looks like an airbag, this, so be careful with that. Let me take, I'm going to have to take this panel down. Two, looks like it's only two seven millimeter screws. I'm, I'm thinking the blow motor is probably right here. You got a seven millimeter there and a seven millimeter here. And we'll see if we can get, get to some connectors. Try to set you up here. I guess there's three seven millimeters. Hold this panel up. And yeah, there's the blow motor. No connector. Cannot see the blower motor connector anywhere. Uh, feels like feels like another seven millimeter for this little duct. Let's see if I can move that duct around a little bit. I'm going to just set you down like that. Yeah. Okay. 
Now the duck's pretty flimsy, so even if we can't, I don't guess that's going to come down anymore, but that, that's probably going to be enough. Let me get my head. I've got to get my head up and out there. See what I can see. Okay, there's some water. I can feel the wires. <clears throat> I think I can probably get to them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them or not on camera. But if you kind of pull this duck down out of the way. Um, I can't really see through the camera if I'm pointing it in the right direction. But you see the wires coming out of it? You can, you can follow them over. I think you're I think that's it right there. I think you're looking at it. So I think what I'm gonna do on this, I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect that connector. Hopefully if I can just do it by feel. And I'm just gonna put 12 volts to this blower motor and see how it acts. But I, I really need to get, you know what, before we do that, let's hook the scan tool up. See if, make sure that everything on the scan tool side. Looking good. Let me get the scan tool going. Okay, we're getting ready. We're, so what I'm wanting to do is just get into the HVAC module, and we're going to see how it uh, how it all looks. More than likely, blower motor's bad, but the, it could be the control module. And I don't want to uh, tell them that they need a uh, blower motor, and then find out the control module's bad. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at live data to start with. Okay. Right here, blower motor speed. In fact, you know what? Just go ahead and select all the blower motor stuff. So you got the speed zero to a hundred. Right now, it's on two bars, which is yeah, probably about thirty percent. We're gonna go ahead and turn it all the way down. We're at zero. Showing all the lights should be off. Blower motor speed command is zero. Blower motor switch is off. I'm going to hit it one time up. Bring one light on. Blower motor switch is one. We got 22%. Uh, blower motor speed indicator. The first one should be on. I'm going to hit the second one. We're at 30%. Blower motor is not blowing at the moment, by the way. 55%. So the, the control head. Okay, blower motor just kicked on. The control head is able to send the command. So the scan tool data all looks good. So what I really need to do is get to the uh, blower motor wiring. So, so basically what we just confirmed is that the control head here is good. The, the, the switch and the button here is able, to, is able to send the command down to the blower motor control module. On some cars it's the blower motor resistor. Let's just see, uh, what, okay, yeah, I want to see what, 
see what the active test we got here. Blower motor speed. Showing 96 percent off. Not a whole lot of air coming out of the uh, vents. Alright, so that's probably about all we can really see as far as scan tool data. We got to get to that connector. Okay, so I am able to see the connector and even reach it by following the wires over. But what I want to do, I think I'm going to go ahead and remove the blower motor. I mean, it looks pretty simple now that this is kind of down. And then we're going to go from there. Actually, you know what I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and remove this airbag module. Now, when you when you deal with an airbag module, you really need to disconnect the battery just to be on the safe side. So let me get this. There, it looks like there's just two 10 millimeter nuts, and then the airbag module will come down. When you're dealing with airbags, stay away while you're as much as you can while you're removing them or dealing with them, just in case they de deploy. You don't want to be in their way if that happens. So I'm going to get a 10 millimeter socket, and we're going to get this airbag module out of here. And I'm hoping what the airbag, getting the airbag module out of here is going to do is give me just more access to see what I'm doing. I wish I could show you. Okay, you got a little connector here. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that. You pull up on that little orange piece and then uh, pull it off. I'm going to need two hands, I think, to do this. <clears throat> and like I said, be careful while you're messing with the airbag module. Let me see if I can do this with the. Uh, I'm going to set it in the seat with the metal part down. So if it did go off, the airbag would come up this way, the metal part would go down into the seat. Now let's see how much access we got. Give us a little bit more visibility. Looks like there's a screw here. I don't know if that's going to drop this plate down on the blower motor itself. Or maybe I can get to the connector here. What is that? Is that a... Not sure what size those are. Let me get a socket. Yeah, five and a half millimeter.
I think there's another one back there. Ratchet time. So I'm just starting to take this cover off right now. what I want. So now we got access to two points that I can hit with a, a meter or a scope if I need to, which is exactly what I want to do. Come on, get in there. Yeah. You guys can see that. So I have my meter just set on voltage right now. And I'm just gonna we'll hit right up here on these two points. See what we got. So we've got you can see the meter. Got two volts. I'm gonna go to the next highest speed. Add some more consistent two volts. Take it on up, we got 13 volts. 10. Got seven and a half. About 6.8, or 5.8, 4, 3, and that's off. Now, since the blower motor is working and it's drawn a load, that tells me everything I need to know. If the motor, roller motor was completely bad, that you may not get the results you're looking for. So, knowing that, it's time to replace this blower motor. You know something else we'll try? Um, yeah, we're not going to try that. We're just going to get this blow motor out of here. So the way I like to replace blower motors is get the hardest, um, Bolt, or really, I mean anything, not just blower motors. 
I like to go for the hardest one. So I'm going to go back here to the back. Uh, I got the wrong size. Those are five and a half millimeter. Now I've seen videos where they take the glove box out for this. That that is not necessary. It does not look like to me. It looks like this blower motor's perfectly able to be changed without taking the glove box or that duct completely out. That duct's flexible enough where you'll be able to you'll, you'll be able to just pull it down a little bit. The only thing that might be the trickiest part is getting to the connector, but honestly, I don't think that's going to be that tough. Although I am going to need to... So you can see the wires. There's not a connector that's removable on the blower motor itself. So I'm going to have to... Now let me see if I can just set the camera up like that. underneath here see what I need to do need that camera out of my way just for a second She's out. Here's the connector. You got to reach up in there, push this tab, uh, and just pull. If you pull on the wire a little bit, wiggle the wire while you're pushing this tab down, it, you'll you'll get it out. Okay, we got the new blower motor. Of course, the first thing you do is make sure that it looks just like the other one, and this one does. Second thing you do is get her installed. And I'm going to try to get this the best I can. Hopefully, I'm not going to hit the... Uh, camera while I'm doing it, but first thing is get some glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. See if you get a better, a little better angle maybe. Let me try to in the, uh, the shroud down a little bit. Put it up there. And 
And these do go in one way, so make sure you get them in the right way. This is tight. Been here with the camera, trying not to knock the camera down. I'm trying to pull this down. Again, I didn't have to pull the glove box out. I've seen some people have to or say you had to do that, but you don't. And you really don't even have to pull the uh, airbag module down. Um, I did just to give me a little bit more access since I'm filming. I like to kind of see what I'm doing more, you know, more than what I might normally need to be able to see. And again, I mean, it doesn't, it probably doesn't take any special ratchet, but this right here is a lifesaver. Any kind of a small ratchet, especially that swivel head tight is a uh, huge plus now this is kind of by feel I don't know how much of this you're seeing so I've got the got the plug I've already looked up here to see where the where the hole is that it plugs into and I'm just kind of going by feel right now Before I put that airbag module up, I'm going to going to uh, put this back together. Then we'll almost be done. But the first thing I want to do now is make sure that this works. So let's do that. Okay, looks like it's working. Hopefully you can hear that. That's high speed. Seems to be working fine. So basically now it's just putting putting the underneath back together. Um, let me get back over there. All right, so let me find what I need here. Take this one back out. Yeah, it's not the right screw. I can't remember what came out of it. Yeah, 
नमस्कार I don't know, you guys probably don't care about watching this go back together. Because it's reverse and obviously taking it apart. And if you watch that, then you should know what, what it takes to go back together. So for the airbag module, make sure that the car is off. And like I say, the best thing to do is to actually pull the battery, uh, disconnect the battery. So here's the airbag module. Here's the plug. Make sure the little uh, keeper is pulled out. You know, kind of need both hands for this, so hopefully you guys will get the point. Give me some light. There's the connector. Now this had two nuts on it. Like I said at the start of this, you know, the airbag is dangerous. If it out, you know, static electricity can set it off. Obviously, if you're troubleshooting something and you hit the wrong wire, that can deploy one. So anytime you're working around an airbag, just think about if it deployed, what would happen and where you may want to be or not be. If that was to happen. So that said, it's all back together. This is a blower motor on a 2012 Buick Verano. You guys take care.